93 WIBC. It is Terry Stacy, and with us this morning is the first day's favorite middle child, the founder of the International Middle Child Union, Bruce Hopman. Hey, it's kind of an Easter name. Hi, Bruce. Oh, I know. You know what? It is, isn't it? It's a bunny thing. Yeah. Hop, hop, Hopman. Hop, hop, yeah, Hopman. Yeah. How, how are you, Terry? I'm fine. Happy Easter. You feel better? I do. I'm all better. I'm ready. I'm, we're back up in business. We're up and running. International Middle Child. Child Union is back in business. Oh, I think that's awesome. Bruce was sick last time we spoke to him. Last time we spoke to you, actually, we were talking about uh, baseball. You were trying to get you were trying to get the Middle Child Day at uh, some of the minor league stadiums around the country. How's that going? It's actually it's actually going better than I expected. I'm really uh, you know I'm talking to a lot of these teams and they're really serious about it. I I suspect this is some kind of cruel Middle Child joke. And when we actually get to August 12th, which is Middle Child's Day, they'll all like, you know, go, oh, sorry, we forgot, like I said. But, <laughs> but I'm sad to report that Indiana, not having as much luck in Indiana, the uh, oh. maybe, you know, I know you, it's a real, it's a, you know, real basketball state. I get that. Yeah. But, um, and football, not, too. Don't forget mm-hmm. about our beloved Colts. Yeah, not have not having much luck with the baseball teams, though. The, uh, the Indians have backed out. And I look. I hold no grudges. You know, I know I'm a middle child. Yeah. I don't. I don't hold a grudge. It's not like let's say I spoke to them on Tuesday, mm-hmm. and uh, the game was rained out Tuesday night. So I'm not saying that I put any kind of middle child <laughs> juju on the on the Indians or anything like that. I really okay. I know they're off to a great start, and I sure. wish them nothing but the best. But you know, when you mess with the power of the international middle child union, right. Right. there will there will be repercussions. That's all I could say. I'm just not, you know, I am still in talks with uh, the South Bend Silverhawks. The dream of having a, a, a middle child's day at stadiums in all the 48 continuous United States still is alive. The dream is alive. Yeah. By the way, Indians at Victory Field today, Louisville Bats 135. We have soccer now. We have an actual like soccer team. I don't know if they do anything like that, but maybe is there like a middle child day during well, a soccer game? I'll certainly, I'll certainly find okay. out. The problem is I don't think I can do that this year. I, the, the baseball thing is really because of the the the, the minor league baseball outreach program. Um, we're having, actually we're having to expand the offices. The, inter, the the world headquarters of the International Middle Child Union. We're expanding the offices. I had to add another leaf to the kitchen table to <laughs> actually handle all the paperwork that uh, you know that this is generating. So uh, uh-huh. it's been. And I think this afternoon I'm heading out to. Uh, to Staples, I got to get another. I got to get more thumbtacks and another bulletin board. This is. This is. We are. We are. You know. We might be hiring. I don't. You know. Uh, I'll let you know. But we might have to start hiring. Bruce Hopman is uh, is with us this morning, and Bruce is the. Um, well, he is the founder of the International Middle Child Union. Today is Easter, and one of the songs that comes to mind right away is "Here Comes Peter Cottontail." What a love that is! Is that a lovely? Is that a lovely story? No, seriously. I mean, here comes Peter Cottontail. Are you going to try to tell me that Peter Cottontail was actually a middle child? No, exa- I'm not exactly sure if he's a friend of the middle child, though. Um, oh, look, look, a lot of these songs that you hear, uh, you know, the Christmas songs and the and the, and the happy Easter songs, they're. I suspect firstborns or lastborns. I don't really think you ever get the story as told from the point of view of the middle child. Right, right. And, um, you know, so, you know, Gene Autry sang this song back in 1950. had a huge hit with it. You know, remember the, the singing right. cowboy hit? Here comes uh, Peter uh, Cottontail. Right, exactly, and we do know yeah. who Gene Autry yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And he had a, a huge hit with it. And it's a lovely story and how, how, how Peter Cottontail is bringing every girl and boy baskets full of Easter joy. Right. I mean, what, what could be wrong? wrong with that unless perhaps if you're the middle child because look i i'm not saying this is from personal experience okay mm-hmm. but the middle child you know there's another side of the story that needs to be told and 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 i've rewritten the song i'm telling the story of what happened after peter cottontail left yeah this is a, a middle child mix you call this yes it's called there goes peter cottontail <laughs> and it it, it tells you what happened after he hopped away and how the middle child feels his basket came up a little short. Look, I, I'm the one who loves the marshmallow peeps, okay? That's me. Sure. Okay? Yeah, not my brother and sister. Why, why would they get more peeps than me? Okay, that makes no go. sense. I don't, know, I, don't know what, I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, if this rabbit, this is what he does. Once a year, he's got a job to do. Make all the kids happy. I, I don't understand how he could have messed this up. But, look, I'm not, I'm not going to hold a grudge. Like I said, what I've done is I've written this song. 
I posted it at the blog, um, at, at macdadblog.com. Right. You, you could go there. I put it up in, in a video sing-along form. So you can... <laughs> You can. The lyrics are all up there. You could sing along with it with your brother and sister. Okay. Maybe they could be distracted, and you could take some of their, you know, jelly beans from their right. baskets, since you probably got less. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I think at this time I'd like to hear the song myself. I'm queuing it up. Can we listen to the song? Okay, you here. Got, we, okay, here do we I go. Have to? Yeah, you're gonna. You did this. Okay. We're gonna listen to it. Here we go. There goes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hopping, this was not your day. Other kids all got a lot, but for you there's diddly squat, why can't even Easter go your way? He brought jelly beans for Tommy, colored eggs for Sister Sue. He forgot they had a brother, so there's nothing there for you. Oh, there goes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, boy did you get screwed. There goes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Doesn't anybody even care? That's just how it always goes. Same old middle child woes. Easter's here, but it's like you're not there. In your basket Easter morning, there's a big goose egg for you. Oh, you might as well be Jewish, cause you've been passed over to Oi, there goes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, you got screwed again. No fair, I'm telling mom. <laughs> That's Bruce Hoffman. He is the first day's favorite middle child, the founder of the International Middle Child Union. Bruce? Yeah, I'm here. I, I, I'm just still getting over my singing. I know you are. Smackdabblog.com. You'll also find him on Facebook on the Smack Dab page. Happy Easter, my friend. Happy Easter, everyone. Even, even the middle child. Happy Easter. <laughs>